All right, well, I promised you guys I would start a video and do something for my taxi. I'm going to put some rad cows on this thing. And so I've been kind of going back and forth um, on put decals or rad cows. So I'm going to try the rad cows on this one. Uh, basically, what I've done so far is in a ton. I've taken, I've emptied everything out of the cabinet and I sanded it down and given it a nice coat. The lighting in here is kind of bad. This yellow is a little bit brighter than the taxi yellow. I matched it to the rad cows just so it's a little bit brighter. The only reason I did that is because it tends to look almost orangish brown. This is a close match on the edge to the taxi, so I had to go to I went to Sherman Williams and found some paint that matched and I've kind of dabbled with it here and and I I did the neck and everything the kind of way I wanted to. So pretty intentional but as you can see right now um, I'm scraping off this residue the taxi rad cows are cabinet height meaning they start down here and they go and extend higher than this the artwork the tires and everything match up on the bottom at least so far and I'll show you that here after a while I'm still prepping the cabinet but we'll trim it up here and then you've got some holes you know one two three four five holes and then it's cut out around the legs. So that's why I primed and put one coat of paint over on the edges. And that's just a guide coat to kind of see where I need to fill body filler in and things. And I've already done that in here. Um, I don't know. I'm going with black rails here. I'm going to the black mismatch. So I wanted the inside um, yellow because I have a lot of this metal in here that's powder coated black. So it'll be a nice contrast. I think it'll look nice uh, when it's all done. Um, in contrast, you can see over here, I've kind of done some scraping already on the sides. And, you know, this is just scuff marks. That's, there's maybe a little bit of residue left. And then this is discoloration from the handrail. And then you can see where there's some primer and paint and whatnot here. Uh, what I've used to get this stuff off is um, Goo Gone. So Goo Gone's Pro Power Adhesive, whatever. Uh, I use that after I pull the rails off to get that residue off because you don't want this on there when you put the rad cows on. And most games are going to have that. Um, are going to have that. What I Then what I do is I take this. Uh, this blade and I just kind of push I've already wiped that stuff on here so I'm trying to do this with my left hand while I'm using my phone to film so I put some goo gun on there already and you can see that stuff will bunch up so I'm getting that off then I'll clean it all with isopropyl alcohol I might have braided the surface just a little bit so the adhesive on the rad cows work this side was really good, I thought, for the taxi, but there's a lot of checking. Whoops, I'm getting in there kind of tight. This cabinet was full of checking, and it's just so hard to match that color. And at first glance, it looked pretty good. And then you get down here, and there's some holes. Um, I'm just going to skim those over with some gui a guide coat of just some gypsum pre-finished mud. Uh, to fill those so there's not a gap behind the decal and then I might just shoot some primer on it real quick nothing too crazy and then I'll you know I've got a little, little bit of prep work to do I'm not ready yet for the rad cows I want to get all this other stuff done so that's what I'm doing first and I'll put a uh, detailed um, I'll show you some video when I start putting the rad cows on and cutting and drilling and that kind of stuff because Quite frankly, I don't know what I'm doing. There's not a lot of stuff out there, so we'll figure it out as we go. And there's, of course, my taxi play field. Um, currently putting that back together. So, although it looks like a mess, it's in, I'm doing okay. So, at any rate, uh, thanks guys for watching, and we'll get back to you soon with the Rad Cal installation. See ya.